What's up, what's up, y'all? Good morning. Uh, feeling pretty decent. Slept pretty good last night. Uh, we were here at our delivery at Sherwin-Williams out in Effingham, Illinois. These receivers tend to be annoying with the signatures. They'll just scribble it up. You can't tell whose name it is or anything. And then on top of that, uh, Bill of Ladings originally have a spot where it says, receiver, sign here. And they'll sign completely differently. And then they'll refuse to sign there. And then sometimes a broker will be like, well, I don't see a signature where it says receiver, so we're not gonna pay you. Or if they can't read the signature, they'll be like, okay, well, too bad. Uh, we're not gonna pay you. So you have to argue with them over that stuff. So I just sent the uh, uh, proof of delivery to Melissa's dad and to kind of sort that out before I get going because I don't want to be paid for that load because, I mean, it's my responsibility to make sure the signature is there and everything that's needed. So if they don't want to pay based on that signature, that's my fault. Uh, it's my duty to make sure it gets signed properly. And yeah, like I was in my truck, I was here a while ago and I know they have a policy where like you can't get out of the truck, but the guy that was unloading me didn't really give a crap. So I was like, you know, whatever, maybe they changed it or it's just up to a person. And I went in there after I got unloaded and the guy was, the other guy was having a whole fit. Like you're not supposed to be in your truck when I'm unloading you. Like, what am I gonna do? Run away with you in the back? Crazy. But yeah, I have a pickup up in Champaign, Illinois. And I'm very, very tight on schedule. So hopefully I can make it. Hopefully we can sort this whole signature out thing soon and they accept what I got so I can get going. But yeah. And then once I get up there, I am uh, going to be installing my new fenders. At least that's the plan. It just, a bolt, snapped the old ones off, throw them away because they're pretty crappy. Uh, and then put the new ones on. I got a wash last night, so the truck is nice and clean. I do need to put on a new bumper, and that's about it. Other than that, the only thing I would do to the exterior of this truck is maybe get a visor, maybe. And some stacks later. Stacks are expensive. I don't have money for that. But right now, I'm hunting down a seat. Probably going to go with a Bostrom uh, uh, low, mid-back, wide-ride Serta seat. That's a lot to take in. Or just the regular pro ride Bostrom, low ride. We'll see. They're very hard to come by for some reason. Places don't have them in stock. You got to order online and in your way, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we'll catch you guys at the shipper, hopefully. So, later.
All right, hopefully you guys like the uh, little driving clips video point of view. Figured I'd do a kind of like an unboxing video of these fenders. I've never seen them before. So let's see, I haven't even seen them on display, just on the website. I think everything should be in here that I need for install. I'm on the rest area. And I figured I'd stop by since the day is nice to install these things. Alright. I would assume these are the posts. So these are the uh, 304 stainless, which is like food grade stainless to my understanding. Much less likely to crack or rust than any of that crap. Brackets, bolts, nuts, bunch of that stuff. For the uh, mounting posts, of nice quality. I was hoping that they would be more assembled. you can tell but that's pretty thick stainless I don't know what gauge it is I'll try to find it out for you guys but this is solid I mean for two hundred and four dollars compared to the prices nowadays I think that you get quite a bit your money's worth so those are the fenders the posts mounting brackets and then these rubber pieces that they would go on here I would assume when the posts get mounted to them yeah looks looks really nice let's uh, grab some impacts and start mounting these things up all right y'all some wrenching later and uh, I got it I got it on there as you can see that's what it looks like. Nice and shiny. Seems like really nice quality. It's pretty much like the same thing as this. I just want them to actually match and be the same. And this just seems like a way better quality. And then again, I don't feel as bad spending over uh, 200 bucks on it compared to like 500 or something. But yeah, that should do it for today's short video. Thank you guys for tagging along. Yeah, I'm gonna also be removing this exhaust from my generator and just route it to the back. So it should be nice. Catch you guys in the next one. So you know, so you know how they say good things come to those who wait. So I was working on my fenders and I was about to get going. And if you're familiar with the, how the air brakes work on a truck, there's a tank and this is a valve to release air in winter so it doesn't freeze up in there well this got ripped out the good thing is the threads did not get ripped out so i can get a new valve well at least the fender looks nice as you can see right back in there the good thing is i can get a new valve 
and unscrew that one and replace it. But the bad thing is, I'm in the rest area, kind of in the middle of nowhere in Illinois, and there's nothing nearby, and I'm not close to home. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, let's try to sort that out, maybe zip tie one of the airlines coming into it, just to make it to get to part, and then we'll catch you guys later. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. I don't have a bolt this size to put in, but I put a washer and a bolt through in here, and this is a rivet. And then I put a bolt in here, and I'm gonna try to tighten this up. And I made sure this can still thread in the way it is, but hopefully this works, we'll let you know. I guess that uh, at the end of the day, when you're driving an old truck like this, this is what owner operator is about, making modifications and improvising on things to make it work so you don't have to call a roadside and get ripped off it's holding up perfectly fine i'm gonna make it to truck centers and get an actual valve slap that on be good to go catch you guys on the next one thank you for watching